So this is my office today, not too bad, in some uh, forested area right off the Neches River. I'm walking out to meet a research team from UT Tyler led by Dr. Lance Williams. Whoa! Whoa. Get it. I'm still talking, get it, get it! There's a gar! Oh, that's so cool, I love gar. Today we were sampling Black Fork Creek and the Natchez River above Lake Palestine. We're using the fish and the invertebrates that live in the river. Um, we can look at their community composition and that tells us something about the water quality. The idea is to sample in all the different types of habitats that are there so you can get a good picture of the community. If there is a lot of um, more rare species, more intolerant species found in the waters, then we can infer that the water quality is um, at least better than other sites. <laughs> Williams and his team will take the samples of fish, insects, and other aquatic life back to their lab to see how East Texas waters have been treating their inhabitants. Sometimes when you have pollution, the fish will be diseased and they'll get lesions and things like that, so we'll look for, for anomalies in the fish. Recent sewage spills in Black Fork Creek give this work an urgent purpose. We have learned that there is a high count of E. coli bacteria within these waters, and we attribute that to the sewage spills that Tyler's had since they run directly from Tyler into Black Fork Creek down into Lake Palestine. Think of it like your, your arteries in your, in your body. If you put a drug in your arm, it's going to go to your brain, it's going to affect your heart. Um, same thing happens in water. These waters are not only a habitat for this wildlife, but an important part of the entire East Texas community. Everyone uses this water. You have to think about um, raccoons, deer, anything that lives in the woods. These are the sites that your kids might be drinking water out of while they're swimming. You want the rivers that you swim in, the lakes that you swim in, um, your drinking water to not have sources of pollution in them. Tim Wolf, CBS 19.